Hi guys! In this video we'll be looking at gravity, gravitational fields and we'll finish with a summary. In this set of videos we're going to be learning about one of the four fundamental forces that govern our universe, which is gravity. And we're also going to be learning about the gravitational fields that cause this force. When an object is dropped above the ground, it always falls back down to the ground. For example, if an apple drops down from a tree, it will fall straight down to the ground. A famous physicist known as Isaac Newton was the first to explain this phenomenon as being due to something called gravity. Gravity causes an attractive force between any two masses. For example, an apple and the earth. They feel a force of attraction. Any two objects with mass exert a gravitational force on each other. So because both the earth and this apple have mass, they exert this gravitational force on each other. The magnitude of the gravitational force between two objects increases with their masses. For example, two apples are relatively light, so they have a very small gravitational force between them. However, the Earth and the Moon are relatively large, and therefore there's a larger gravitational force between them. And in fact, it is this gravitational force that keeps the Moon rotating around the Earth. Regardless of which mass is bigger, the gravitational force on both objects are equal and opposite. So even though the Earth is more massive than the apple, there is an equal gravitational force between them. The gravitational force is non-contact, which means that the objects do not need to touch each other to exert this force. For example, the Earth and the Moon are never touching, yet there is always a gravitational force between them. Now we're going to discuss the cause of gravity, which is gravitational fields. The gravitational force between two objects is non-contact. So that means that even though the Earth and the Moon are not touching, they still experience a gravitational force of attraction. This means that the gravitational force must be due to a force field. And we've drawn some lines of this force field in the diagram here. Any object that is inside another object's force field will experience a force. So for example, the Moon is inside the force field of the Earth, and therefore it's going to experience a gravitational force of attraction towards the Earth. Every object is going to have its own individual force field due to its mass. So both the Earth and the Moon have a force field. The force field that an object creates due to its mass is called its gravitational field. So here are the field lines of the gravitational fields of the Earth and the Moon. The arrows on the lines in a gravitational field show the direction that a small object will move in that field. So for example, this apple is going to fall towards the Earth because the arrow is pointing towards the Earth. Gravitational fields are similar to electric fields in the sense that they are a force field that an object creates due to one of its properties. So the gravitational field occurs due to an object's mass, whereas an electric field occurs due to an object's charge. An electric field occurs because an object has a property called charge and it exerts force on objects with charge. A gravitational field occurs due to an object's mass and exerts force on objects with mass. So here the Earth is generating a gravitational field due to its mass. And this exerts a force on the Moon due to the fact that the Moon has mass. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing A-level physics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap of my smiley face and together let's make A-level physics a walk in the park.